Aloha guys, I'd like to explain to you the process of what I call my one second rule. This is my one second rule of tripping the bale when you're casting. Now when you throw out your, your loaded bubble, or in this case it could be a lure, a popper, plug, whatever. Okay, this is the line here. This goes back to your rod tip. So when, you, when I toss out my, my weighted item, okay, because of the wind, the wind's gonna and it's gonna take back your leader line here, and it's gonna bring it back. Now the problem of, of the leader line coming back is it's gonna be very close to the main line, and it may tangle. If it tangles, it'll tangle up here, or you're gonna start getting knots in your leader itself, and that will weaken the leader line. Okay, but when you, when I found out that if you want to lessen this or not even have it at all i call this the one second rule watch your weighted bubble or your weighted lure about one second before it hits the water you trip the bale you have to trip the bale and what that does it stops the bubbles or your weighted um object in mid-flight for one second which will cause the leader to swing back around it come out to the front. When that happens, the line is fully taunt. Now the advantages to this is, like I said, you're not gonna get any weak spots in your leader because it won't uh, tangle, it won't knot up. And also, as soon as your bubble or your weighted line hits, the, this line would be totally straight out. So as soon as you make your first crank on your retrieval, the your item will be chugging or popping, whatever you want, it will be immediately in action this is something i always do because i don't like getting weak leader lines when i'm at my locations it means that there's a chance you might lose a decent sized fish so just follow this rule if it's during the daytime and you can see this you can just trip it one second before it hits the water if not after a while you develop a sense of timing okay and you can feel that sense of timing so you know roughly when to trip the bale to get the same de desired effect at night. All right, thank you. Okay, this is your bale. I like to manually trip the bale about a second before everything hits the water. The reason for that is so the every once you trip the bale, it causes the line to tighten out to go straight again. So when I start to crank, I already have pressure on it and I get immediate immediate reaction on the line. The advantage to that is that way if you're using a heavy bait or a heavy lure, you're not gonna give it time for it to sink to the bottom and get caught. There, trip, see? And immediately while I'm as, as soon as I tripped it, the line went straight and it's already dancing coming back on the surface. I didn't give the, the, the hook any time to snag the reef. So it's a shallow water, you kind of want to trip that about a second before it hits. Thank you.